In this video, I will provide you with a simple method you can use if you are building steep roofs and trying to use your framing square to lay out the roof rafters and you just don't have enough room on one side of the framing square. It's just not going to be long enough. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about. On a gambrel roof where we're going to have a steep rafter on one side, especially if we use this method where we're going to be using a half circle to design the shape of the roof. And if we have a standard framing square and we're going to be using the 12 inch measurement at the bottom like we have here. For this particular roof pitch we are going to run out of room here. We're going to need another 4 and 5 16 inches. And I'm not about to suggest you can't attach something and clamp it onto your framing square to use a framing square, but why bother if you don't have to? And this is actually one of the tips one of our viewers left in the comment area. They simply suggested that since it is a ratio, you can divide the ratio in half. So for example, half of 12 is going to be 6, and half of our other measurement is going to be around 13 inches, allowing us to use our framing square to shape the roof rafter seat cuts and plumb cuts and fascia board cuts also if we're going to lay those out. And of course I can't leave you with that method only. For example here we have a 30 and 12 roof pitch. So for every 12 inches in run we're going to go up 30 inches in height. And that would be instead of dividing the number in half we're going to divide it into other multiples. So for example, 9 would be 1 fourth of 12, or we would have 4 3 inch increments in the number 12. So if we're going to use the number 9, we're just simply going to figure out what 1 fourth of 30 is and subtract it from 30. And I believe that number is going to be 22 and a half inches. However, if you don't want to use the tip of the framing square or you're off just a little bit and you want to switch it to another number like 8, now we're going to be dealing with one third. So if we divide 3 into 12, we're going to have three 4 inch measurements. And we're simply going to do the same thing for the number above, which will be 20. So not too difficult to figure out because if we divide 3 into 30, we're going to end up with 10 inches. We're just simply going to subtract 10 inches from our 30 inches to give us 20 inches. So I can take any numbers like 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 and divide them into the current ratio that I'm using to create a smaller ratio. Or you can try and find a longer framing square. And if you do find one, let me know. I've never seen them, but they're probably out there somewhere. I just don't know about them.